Hey everyone! I am so excited to get to share with you my top 10 favorite Christmas movies. Y'all know me, y'all know I love my movies, and Christmas time is just an excuse to watch movies like every day. These are the ones that we literally watch every single year. The first movie that I wanted to share with you is called Mr. Kruger's Christmas. <laughs> Try saying that 10 times fast. It has Jimmy Stewart in it. It's kind of older, but I grew up watching it and it just warms my heart. It is a really sweet movie, so you should watch it. There's a few movies that have just kind of become tradition for us as sisters with our mom that we watch, and one of them is called The Gift of Love, and it stars Marie Osmond, and it is such a cute movie. It's a love story, of course, but it's also set at Christmas time. It's kind of like a retelling of The Gift of the Magi, and who doesn't love the Osmonds at Christmas, so. Now, some of you are probably gonna judge me for this, but every year we try to see the Nutcracker Ballet together as sisters, and it's one of the best parts of Christmas. I absolutely love watching the ballet. If we don't have a chance to go actually to the ballet, we will watch the movie version by Barbie. I think it's like the first Barbie animated movie that ever came out and we saw it when we were younger and it's probably one of the most quoted movies of all time in our house. The quality's not the best, but it's really clever and really cute and it tells the story of Clara and the Nutcracker kind of more in depth. There's some really good quotable lines in that movie, so Barbie movies are so good. Another movie that we like to watch with our mom every year is Little Women. I think I read the book once when I was really young and it's been a long time, but I absolutely love the movie. It has Winona Ryder and Christian Bale, very young. Kirsten Dunst, the whole movie isn't set just at Christmas time, but it's still a really good feel-good movie and of course a love story, so you gotta watch it with your girls. There's also one company who knows how to do Christmas right, and that is Disney. Any Disney Christmas movie is so good, and going to Disneyland at Christmas time is like the most magical thing ever. Last year we went at Christmas time and we were just walking around by the It's a Small World ride and suddenly this like epic music comes swelling out from nowhere and all the lights dim and it started snowing in the middle of Disneyland and I literally cried because I was just like it was too much it was really too much one of our favorite Disney Christmas movies is Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and Twice Upon a Christmas Once Upon a Christmas we grew up watching and at the end they have a music video on the VHS so we'd watch it all the way through of Shadaisy which is one of our favorite bands ever and they have the best Christmas album of all time. So they have one of their songs on that, so if you watch it all the way through, fast forward on your VHS, you'll see the Shadaisy music video. Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas is like the follow up to that and I think there's like three or four stories, short stories in each one and they're just so cute and funny. I love Mickey. Of course, Christmas is not Christmas without watching Elf. Elf is so classic and is another one of those movies that we quote all year long. Great movie, great movie. This year, actually, I watched a new movie for the first time. I watched It's a Wonderful Life. Oh my goodness. It's in black and white. It's a classic film. It's pretty old, but it has the sweetest story, and I cried at the end. I haven't cried in a movie in a long time, but it really touched me. If you're looking for a really lighthearted Christmas movie, that's probably not the best one, but it is such a good story and good characters, and it's just classic and timeless, so that's a good one that you could watch every year as well. I remember when I was probably like 11 or 12, um, our grandparents took us to see the Polar Express in theaters. There is something so magical about that movie. I love, I love the music, I love the story, I love the sound. It'll make you believe. I think my favorite Christmas movie ever is The Grinch. <laughs> I grew up being familiar with the story and then when the movie came out with Jim Carrey, oh my gosh. It was over. I fell in love. He's one actor that you either love him or you hate him, and I absolutely love him. He cracks me up like nobody, and there are so many funny moments in that movie. I have nothing bad to say about The Grinch. I could watch that all year long. In fact, I think I do. The last movie that I wanted to share with you is one that we actually have watched every year since as long as I can remember. As a tradition in our family, we watch it on Christmas Eve, and it's called Joy to the World. Watching this movie is actually probably my favorite part of about Christmas because the movie tells the story of Jesus' birth. It also features beautiful music from the Mormon Tabernacle Choir and 
that message and that movie mean the world to me and mean the world to our family. If there's one movie that I would say you should watch this year, it is Joy to the World. We will be watching it on Christmas Eve, so if you find it or want a copy, you can get it and join us in watching it. Watching it in your own home with your own family on Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve and on Christmas when you're with your family, the people that you love most, you can also feel of the love of God that he has for you. Realize that he sent his son for you he sent him for me, he sent him to come to this earth to live and to die for us and my heart is so full of gratitude this time of year for him and my goal hopefully is to carry that feeling throughout the whole year but this is a great time to start and to renew that effort to get to know him and to feel close to him. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my movie recommendations and let me know in the comments what movies you guys like to watch or what your family traditions are. Hope you guys are enjoying the 12 days of GS Christmas videos. This has been so fun for us and we have lots more coming for you guys. Thanks for watching! Good night everybody! Hello and welcome to Hot Chocolate 101. I'm your host today, Abby Gardiner, with our special guest, Lindsay. So we are going to be showing you many different ways to make hot chocolate because you know that is the favorite thing of the season.